It's that time of year when cow-calf producers are thinking about supplementation strategy for their cow herd. And so, you know, uh, feed costs in general are more expensive this winter than they were last year and protein supplement is particularly expensive this year. And so with some good quality wheat pasture, it, it can be used as an alternative protein source for beef cows. Uh, you know, if you think about the nutritive value of wheat pasture forage, you know, it's gonna run somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 22% crude protein on a dry matter basis. Uh, and then, uh, which would be similar or, or comparable to a 20% range cube. And then the energy value in a high quality forage like that is around 70, 71, 72% TDN, total digestible nutrients. And that too is very similar to a 20% cube. Uh, so we discovered in some of the research we did at the Range Cow Research Center a few years ago that once trained, a beef cow turned out on wheat can consume somewhere in the neighborhood of about one to one and a half percent of her body weight in wheat forage dry matter. So if you think about that uh, for a minute, uh, so let's say a 1200 pound cow, once she's trained to intermittently graze wheat pasture at say three to four hour grazing bouts, during each one of those periods, she could consume up to at least 12 pounds of the equivalent of 20% range cubes. Now that's a pretty valuable uh, feed resource and, and they can just consume a lot of feed. So we used the strategy in a, in a study several years ago of turning the cows out uh, three to four times a week with uh, three to four hour grazing bouts each time and our cows performed very well uh, with that strategy. And so that provided the supplement for the winter uh, for those cows. The only thing we provided in the dry lot was a water source so that when they got filled up after about three to four hours of grazing, they wanted to go get a drink and they go right back through the gate uh, to the water source. And then we put uh, the mineral supplement, uh, the wheat pasture mineral supplement there in the dry lot also. Another tip uh, to make that system work really well would be to, uh, if you can, if it's convenient, to put up uh, creep gates for the calves so they can go out and gradually learn to go out and graze the wheat. And those calves will gain three to three and a half pounds a day with a high quality wheat forage like this uh, forage that we're standing in. The final thing I guess I should say if you, if you have an interest in using wheat pasture as a supplement to beef cows is of course, when they're not grazing wheat, uh, they need to have uh, access to lower quality forage. In our case, we use dry lots with kind of low quality grass hay. We actually use prairie hay uh, that was just available to them all the time. But if you have a pasture of standing and native grass or stock pod Bermuda grass, you know, obviously you could graze that as well. Uh, but somewhere in the neighborhood of around 12 hours a week, of grazing wheat pastures should supply a lactating cow and a fall calving uh, calf. And so uh, limit grazing like that, whether it's three times a week or four times a week, will stretch uh, the wheat pasture resource so that it lasts longer and you're able to supplement more animal units through the winter and also uh, make better use of your low quality forage resource. So for more information on using wheat pasture to provide supplement to the beef cow herd, uh, just go to the cow calf newsletter, which will be, a uh, link will be available at beef.okstate.edu and also at sunup.okstate.edu.